What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to Horror Nights Unscripted, a podcast dedicated to all things Halloween Horror Nights related in an unscripted and unique way. My name is Scott from SoHow Exploring. I'm Adrian from Lost TV. And it is episode 15. Episode 15. I'm trying to get to that 20 as soon as possible, hopefully before Horror Nights opening night. And uh, well, hear me out. I was thinking, right? I was thinking mm-hmm. for the 20th episode, that can be the episode that we film in person. Either 20 or 25. Well, it depends. I, I feel like it's going to be 25 because, I don't know, I just feel like we'll get we'll grind out five more episodes before haunt season. Oh, no, for sure. So I mean, uh, we, have, we still have the announcements. We still have everything yeah. that has to be. Because there's going to be like 10 announcements, so. Yeah, exactly. And then since I'll be going opening weekend, we have, I can give my opinion, all that good stuff. Exactly. A little teaser. A um, couple things. We're, we're going to announce a giveaway winner right now. Um, of our big giveaway so that will be fun um we have a new member which we've talked about before his name is michael from hollow thrills doing like orlando content for socal exploring and uh yeah let's get him to 100 subs come to 100 subs he's right there he's right there yeah and it, it's crazy um your guys' support for him already um as soon as we announced that he was on he jumped up like 15 subs and i i appreciate that because I want to grow everybody together. Just like everyone's been subbing to Losh, and Losh is almost at 1K. That's crazy. I, That's crazy to me. So thank you guys. Yes. Uh, we want our whole team to succeed. So make sure to subscribe to Michael from Hollow Thrills down below in the description. Let's get him to 100 as soon as possible. We're going to bring him on soon, probably within the next couple episodes. We're going to bring him on. And um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be cool to have a third opinion rather than just uh, being Losh. Kind of like a round table instead of a one-on-one conversation. Exactly. The round table for podcasts are, are really good, especially like when we have guests and stuff like that. So um, yeah, you'll see Michael on here sometime very, very soon. And just to talk all things Horror Nights related. But um, let's get into our giveaway winner. So we did it. For those of you guys who are confused on what our giveaway was, we did a big prize pack giveaway um, in collaboration with David from HHN Updates. There's your sticker right there showing it off. Um, I got myself one too. I ordered a shirt that sh- should be coming in soon. But the giveaway was a sticker, I like the one Lost just showed, a shirt and a mask. So if those of you guys who in- entered, all of you guys, I just want to say thank you guys for the support. There were over 60 people that entered the giveaway. So that's mind blowing. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support. And, and don't worry, there will be more giveaways very, very soon. Like we want to do as much of these as possible to thank you guys and um i think this was a good one to start off with so congrats to our winner um lash why don't you announce our winner well it's got a li- nice little uh, drum roll in here we have can't really underscore, hear my drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> underscore leslie perez so big congrats to you um if you haven't already been in contact with david from hhn updates we'll get in contact with you soon and get you all of your dope horror nights and scripted merchandise once again, I just want to say thank you guys, um, both of us on our behalf. Thank you guys. Um, and thank you guys to everyone who's already bought in the merch. You guys are, you guys are dope. And you guys uh, show your support and rep that merch. And uh, if you guys do purchase merchandise, um, tag us on Instagram, show it off, and we'll show you guys off on our Instagram stories as well. I love seeing it. I love seeing people wearing the Horror Nights Unscripted stuff. And just yeah, it's it. It's such a cool thing to see. It's cool to see how people rep it and, and you know, like – really like the designs and stuff like that it's also cool to see your logo being represented and and knowing that people actually enjoy and uh support but i mean you guys already do support us a ton by just watching the videos and then and clicking the like button but uh knowing that you guys purchase our merchandise that we create is is really means a lot so thank you all to um but yeah don't get yourself down there are going to be plenty of giveaways for sure but before we get into the general haunt update because we got a couple of different updates it's gonna be kind of a shorter horror nights unscripted but not all of them have to be long it'll be shorter um we want to promote our socials as usual all linked down in the description instagram twitter um you guys can find us all that stuff all down below in the description as well as our t public merchandise shop so where you can purchase some horror nights unscripted merchandise like the ones that we were just talking about right now like that one that lost is holding up prime perfect example have you not put them on the on your fridge yet so you can show them off <laughs> don't know how to, okay so i'm like afraid of commitment when it comes to stickers 
So it's like, I want to put it on my fridge. But then again, I want to put it on my car. And then I want to put it on my phone. It's like, I don't know where to put it. That's so how about I want this? <laughs> I want my, I want my, uh, I want our little fan base to tell us, where should I put this sticker? All right, we'll throw, we'll throw up a poll on, on, on your Instagram story and we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see which one. We'll see which one wins. So go but check yeah, out comment Lost down below too. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to put it up at like noon. Not noon. I'll do it at like, okay, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So noon Pacific Standard Time. All right, you guys heard it here first. Lost TV. And uh, th- those links to the merchant shops are down below in the description. You can also subscribe to my channel if you're watching on Lost channel or subscribe to Lost channel if you're watching on mine if you aren't already subscribed because by the looks of it, you guys are already going over to each of our channels and enjoying all the content. So thank you guys. But let's start off with some good news. Um, we have both good news and bad news and we'll dive into a little bit of that. But I'll let, I'll let you lead the way into the good news of Halloween Hornets 30 Orlando. So for the good news, about, I want to say a few episodes ago, we had the auditions open for internal. Mm-hmm. And we both had this idea that they weren't going to do external. Oh, yeah. We've been saying, you know, they're only going to do internal to maintain, like, capacity. So today, they announced, well, it's not really an announcement. They just put on the website that they were having open auditions for scare actors. Mm-hmm. So, basically, a haunted house performer or a street performer. And they were looking for people... Between five feet and under to six, one and over. So the audition page reads, Universal Orlando is accepting haunted house and street performer submissions for Halloween Horror Nights. Seeking can't, wait a second. Why is it all, why is it three R's? That's weird. Um, Seeking candidates slender to athletic build in the following height ranges. Five foot and under, five one to five three, five seven to five nine, and five ten. To six feet and six foot one and over. The deadline is Monday, July twentieth, twenty twenty. So it's Halloween you Horror Nights. Okay, you saw that too. <laughs> yeah. So basically, if you are between five four and five six, sorry, you can't audition for Horror Nights. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know where the exact link is. I'll find the link and put it down in the description for you guys to apply. Um, but you have until July 20th, external audition. So beforehand, like Losh was saying, they were only doing internal auditions, but now they're opening it to whoever, um, not just universal employees. So that's, like, that's actually big news. Mm-hmm. That's really beneficial. It really helps out because there's a lot of people I know that wanted to start scare acting this year. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people that wanted to drop out of scare acting this year as well. Oh, interesting. So it really, it really opens up doors for a lot of people. It is, and and it's it's more of an exciting thing too because, like we've been saying every single week that we're filming Horror Nights and scripted, um, Haunt Halloween Horror Nights thirty seems to be full steam ahead with auditioning, with the construction that we recently saw, and now with putting out external auditions today, uh, July fourteenth. You'd think that if they were going to cancel the event, then they wouldn't do that. But they're doing it. So that's exciting. I am very excited that Halloween Hornets 30 is full steam ahead. All I have um, to say is if we get new scare actors, you know, feel free to contact me if you would like to do a scare actor interview post. Yeah. As yeah. you guys know, Lash is doing a new series yeah. it's called My Interview with the Scare Actor. Um, if you want to be a part of it, if you've been a scare actor for Horror Nights or any other haunts in the area, hit Lash up because you can be featured on that series potentially. It's a great series. People are loving it. But um, we'll get back to Orlando in a little bit. Um, we have a, so I have this idea, um, and uh, credit to Haunt Fanatic on Twitter because he really um, kind of brought it to my attention when he mentioned it. So uh, I'll, I'll talk about it in a bit. But we have to get over the hard sad news right now (laughs) and uh nothing's official yet but this is about hollywood so i got a report from um truck driver friends who work for universal and these guys are the ones that that drive the trams they drive the shuttles they drive anything related to working for universal studios um they are being scheduled to move plywood off-site from the theme park to their um third-party location where they store like the hhn stuff at so that is um, that's scary because that means basically that they are dismantling the mazes and multiple reports have already come in from people from insiders 
that uh, they're already in the process of dismantling bases. Now, our good friend Santa Clarita Drone will be out there today that you're watching this, and he'll have a video up later on. And keep up to date with my socials because I'll be posting right away as soon as he sends those videos to me. He usually sends me uh, during the middle of the day to see if they actually are dis dismantling mazes. Um, to keep you guys updated on that. You know, this is just a rumor right now, but I, I really do believe that this is happening because there'd be no other reason why they'd be moving plywood off site. They're just, they wouldn't. It's not like they ordered too much, you know? Yeah. It's definitely sad though. And uh, I feel like a lot of people on Twitter don't really understand that uh, when they're like, oh, you're a liar. Oh, you're this. Oh, whatever. And I, you know, I, okay, I do get it. I do get it. You, I'm not telling you guys what I know. Um, and it's all over the forums. It's all over other pages, you know? I just, I want to have that hope there too. And even though I've been saying, you no, know, Hollywood's going to get canceled, Hollywood's going to get canceled. I do want to have that hope there that it's going to go on. So I don't want to completely say like Hornets is canceled for sure. A hundred and percent. You know this, I've been saying just like rip HHN or like, yeah, HHN's not looking so good for this year. No, nowhere have I ever said Hornets Hollywood is canceled for sure. Um, so yeah. And I feel like I've, I've said this like, so many videos you know and i'm sure you can testify to this i've mm -hmm. i've tried my best to warn people and even though in these videos i just say you know oh it's looking like horror nights isn't gonna happen this year i have also said the way that we can help with horror nights happening this year is by wearing your mask and then following social distancing and stuff like that but nobody seems to want to listen to it no i feel like it's the same thing here too but it's I just feel like not, not, your I'm governor's not a lot less strict. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get political, but yeah, basically our governor's less strict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, I I do like I say, I try my best. I've tried my best to warn you guys, like, and, and it's not all of you guys. I when I say you guys, I'm just speaking for the general YouTube audience. I've tried my best to warn everybody: if you don't wear your mask, if you don't follow these guidelines, Halloween Hornets Hollywood is going to get canceled. Our governor is just more strict, and I see more people saying, "Oh, well." You know, Florida has more cases and they have more deaths. Yes, that is true. However, their governor is 10 times less strict than our governor. So you have to look at that. And then you also have to look at, you know, we're all excited for Halloween Horn at 30 to happen. But you got to think about how safe it's going to be. Um, that's also another thing to think about. You know, the, the, main, the main concern right now is COVID and slowing the spread. And I feel like a lot of people are losing sight of that. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, sorry to get depressing with you guys. It's just, it's just, it's been a rough time. It's been a really rough time for uh, Hornets fans and theme park fans in general. But uh, I think that since what is July fourteenth, we have how many more days till Bogo ends? Bogo ends in exactly a week, a week and a day. So okay. eight days. So the Bogo deal ends for Halloween Hornets thirty in a week and a day. Um, I think that tomorrow or today that you guys are watching this if we see from santa clarita drones footage that they are dismantling these mazes obviously the word will get out and universal will probably be like all right we have to announce it you know i'm sure they're already planning an announcement but with those shots coming out i'm pretty sure they'll be like yeah i mean it's pretty clear like everybody knows so we're gonna have to announce it um and then by that time Universal Orlando will be fully prepared for an announcement as soon as BOGO ends. Hopefully we get one the day after or like the day of. Yeah. But it seems to be July 22nd is the date that we're going to get an announcement that everyone's saying. So if we want to be positive about Hollywood, the one thing I think that can come good from it not happening this year will be we can have a lot better houses, more work done houses yeah. next year. So here's the thing, and I th this caters a little bit to that. And this is the good news I was talking about, brought up by Haunt Fanatic on Twitter, is when in doubt if Hollywood gets canceled or not, Halloween Hornets 30 is still going to go with the same IPs. They have a contract. They're going to do the same IPs. The rumored IPs, Beetlejuice, Billy Eilish. Um, what else is rumored? Um, TCM. TCM, Hill House. All those, those mazes slash houses – they're all rumored, and most likely they'll still just go with those IPs. Even if Hollywood, out, it's too late to turn back. They're already building them. Yeah. Um, but here's the good thing, right, is we will, we will most likely still get those IPs at Hollywood next year. Um, we'll still be able to walk through a Beetlejuice maze, a Hill House maze, hopefully. Um, and you'd think that Murdy would still want to do those 
mazes because it'd be easy one since he already has the treatments written up, but he already went through all the work of getting um, contracts and, and making these mazes and designing them. So I'm pretty sure that he'd want to do them next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially the Billy maze because he works so closely with musicians and artists. I'm sure he really wants to do the Billy maze. Um, but uh, yeah. And that also goes for a positive note because I mean, it's next year in Orlando, you know, Orlando loves their original houses. So will we see tons and tons of originals next year? So I had this weird idea, right? So I was thinking about this. I was talking to someone at work Mm -hmm. that's also a Horror Nights fan. And they were telling me how I felt about Hollywood potentially being canceled. Mm -hmm. And I gave them the whole spiel of they're going to probably have the same IPs next year that we're having this year. Yeah. Which means we might have a complete slate of just originals. Yeah, Which, and that'd be dope. I don't think it'll happen, but I'd love for it to happen. I think I'm that you guys can get a couple IPs that we did that you didn't. Yeah, like the one thing I would love to see, I know it's not going to happen, but I'd love to see Cabin in the Woods again. I didn't get to go through it, but I heard it was such a good house. No, you know what I think they'll do? Is I think, okay, say, so we were rumored for a six maze event this year. Um, and I'll say we still are rumored because they haven't officially canceled the event. We were rumored for a six maze event. Um, so that freeze, usually we'll have like, I mean, as of last year, we had like 10 mazes. Um, but before that, we'd have about seven to 10 still. That's the average. So we still had extra IPs that they're originally planning to do. So those IPs could still be planned for next year's event and also get put in to Orlando's event. Obviously, we wouldn't have Beetlejuice and stuff like that because you already got it, but those extra IPs could be put into Orlando's event. That's where Candyman and Halloween Kills can fall. We could, yeah, Halloween Kills, Candyman could all work. Yeah. So yeah. There, there, is a, there is a positive side to this, honestly. And even though Hollywood is in the very, very high risk to get canceled, I think that there's a positive side, especially if you're making the trip out to Orlando this year. If not, then you still have a positive side to look forward to in HHN 21. And Murdy and the creative team will be focusing so solely on those properties that they're planning to do for 2021 and really, really do it good because we'll have so long to plan it out. It'll be a return year, so... Exactly. And, and you know, the energy and the excitement will be extremely crazy on opening night because nobody would have had Horror Nights for a whole two years. <laughs> oh, I got to say something. I'm going to grab my mic and look dead into the camera. Okay. All right. Murdy, I know you're listening, right? Hear me out. For next year's event, give me Sweet Licks versus, versus Hollywood <laughs> Harry. Go watch the maze treatment on the Nights of Horror. To go see Scott's idea. It'll be hey. great. You can contact us. I'll oh, be yeah. over. S- sign us. Sign us to Universal. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll help you. Do the, it. Uh, and it's funny. He watched the Labyrinth one. He said that he watched a Labyrinth one. I think so that was pretty cool. cool. The Labyrinth maze treatment that I did. Um, potential that we saw the Sweet Licks one. Exactly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, Anthony did link it. And he said, oh, yeah, cool. So, uh, but yeah. Yeah. Um, what okay to wrap it up we'll uh talk about what you think because we and you haven't talked about it on on the uh the show uh what you think is coming in the fear factor area for orlando sorry we haven't talked have we not talked about it no we've just talked about it me and you okay yeah that's true that's true it's been a while we've been doing vlogs yeah. um i think wait no we did no we didn't we didn't we because i asked you we um, talked about, oh no, no 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 yeah we did talk about it we did talk about it outside just not on the show yeah, yeah i asked you the reasoning behind it so i wouldn't get the facts wrong in the video so i believe that after talking to a few more people i think it's aov okay if it's not aov i'm sticking with my bill and ted with a dab of icons in there but why do you think it's aov though like what made you change your mind so Ever since 26, I've been told they were on like a five-year contract or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I think last year, everyone's like, no, they're done. This is their last year. But if you guys go back and listen to the Horror Nights Unscripted that we did with Farside, I know it's kind of rough to listen to. But if you we listen... Had internet issues. Exactly. If you listen, he never said they're not coming 
and he never said they are coming. Yeah. But he spoke highly of Orlando the whole time. Yeah, he did. Um, and I even I even asked about considering doing Hollywood, and he just kind of said, oh, yeah, that's cool, you know, but it was all Orlando. Exactly. He, like, loves Orlando. Mm-hmm. And the villains feed off that, like, energy that's in the crowd. Yeah. And Orlando brings that energy every night. Well, without a doubt, I think that they're coming back. And you said Animal Actress is back on, right? Yeah, that show hasn't ended. Okay, so see, there, there's a thing. Is like we were talking about, could there be a show in Animal Actors too? But since the show's back on, I think that they would have just not put the show on if they're preparing something for Halloween Horror Nights there. Yeah. So since the show is running during normal daytime operating hours, I don't think that uh, we'll be using that stage for a show. That's true. They also have like the mini stages set up everywhere for like daytime meet and greet, daytime meet and greets with characters. So potentially or, we can have like mini shows, uh-huh. kind of like scattered, like park, kind of like they had for um, Fright Nights. For Fright Nights, the whole park was full of shows. I just want to see a Terra Quintus thing, like a flashback from way back, you know? I'd love to see it in a scare zone. Yeah, that would be cool. I think it would really Maybe work in New York. Well in, in New York, give her the whole street, give her full role, full full domain. Right. I think that'd be cool because you don't have to put her in the icon house. I think that'd be cool if she just has her own scare zone with the whole show going on. You can, you can separate it into the different sections of Terra Quintus. Mm-hmm. So it can I, be, I like it. It'd be a good throwback. It'd be perfect. And it's an anniversary year. It should be her year because it's 15, but we're not going to talk about that. We talked about that. Enough. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> one thing that I wanted to mention was the fact that uh, – I think that it could be AOV too. Um, you know, I think I think Bill and Ted's being considered. I really do. But AOV with a contract, unless they were to move them into the former Carnage stage, and also, also AOV performed there too, where they put that stage up, the, rent, the temporary stage. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know what's crazy? I thought that stage, back in 2015, when that stage was getting put up, I thought it was for um, Rock the Universe, which is an event that uh-huh. you said like the week before, Univers- like the week before Horror Night started. Yeah. So, Oh, it's just for Rock the Universe, whatever. Mm. And then they took it down, and then they put it back up, and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, it's for Horror Nights. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's exciting that Sprung Tent construction is going on. It's exciting that everything in Orlando is going good. For you Hollywood fans, I, I'm i sorry. I'm sorry to myself, too, because I'm upset. But uh, oh, I almost forgot. Before I, before I forget, because I want to tell the podcast. So... Construction for the facade for Men in Black last year didn't start till August. Okay. Because I saw a lot of people asking me, like they were DMing me, asking me, oh, when does construction start for the facades? It's kind of weird that they haven't started yet. Yeah. Last year, I was worried about the same thing with House of a Thousand Corpses. Well, before I knew that that was the location for it. Yeah. Because all it was was a plain white wall mm-hmm. for the longest. And I think it was like August 14th, the facade started going up. So it's like, you guys just have to wait. Be patient. Yeah, I feel with Orlando's um, facade progress, they actually are doing interior first, whereas mm-hmm. Hollywood, they do facades first. Mm-hmm. That's usually how we are as well. Because you guys are in tents. You guys are, well, it's the sprung tents, but like not open tents. Yeah. So it, it's a lot different. Mm-hmm. I can't um, wait. I was talking to a friend of mine and they were like, when Scott gets down here, he's going to love Horror Nights over here. Yeah, you know, well, was it Avion? No. Avion says that all the time, though. I know. Avion, Avion wants to scare me over there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, but, yeah. Um, it's been fun. Hornets Unscripted Episode 15. Sorry it was a short one, guys. Um, not a lot of news, but we like to try our best to film weekly ones and uh, stuff like that. Again, I want to say congrats to the giveaway winner. Congrats. congrats um thank you guys to everybody who's in supporting us you guys are all dope make sure to check us all out in the description below and get hollow thrills to 100 subs do it <laughs> how about this how about this when he gets to 100 subs we'll bring him on the podcast <laughs> there you go <laughs> that's a that's I think, a good uh, I, think, I think that's a good incentive yeah i like it i like it i like it um i'll let you sign them off wash All right. I want you guys to wear a mask, stay home. Don't stay home. You don't have to stay home anymore. Wear a mask. Have fun. Corona COVID. Exactly. 
Stay six feet apart from, from everyone. Remember that positivity is key. Stay excellent, my dudes. And don't ever forget to keep exploring. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.